This is a new Great Lakes Gobi from Culprit that I uh, was fortunate enough to be involved in the design growing up on the Great Lakes. My whole life I've uh, really tried to take advantage of what I can do to catch those giant smallies day in and day out. For years we drug around green tubes thinking they were mimicking crayfish. Now of course we know that, that those big smallies were eating gobies. And the gobies are getting bigger. They're a bigger part of the smallmouth diet. What we've come up with is a, is a really, truly a lifelike version of a goby. It's heavy enough that you can use it dragging. It's light enough you can burn it over rock piles. Uh, and as a professional bass angler, I, I wanted to come up with something that not only smallmouths ate, but that it generated a, just a vicious killing response, and this bait does it. It's clear to me that while smallmouths eat gobies, they're, uh, they're much more interested in making sure that this thing isn't around and killing it so that when they take this bait, the hits are absolutely violent. When they got it, it's all up, up in their mouth like that, and they're just choking on it. Got a treble hook design as long as a big single hook design. You don't lose them. It's just a bad, bad bait. When I'm throwing the Great Lakes Gobi, I throw either spinning rod or a bait casting tackle. It doesn't matter. Works equally well on both. I prefer bait casting, teaming it up with 10 to 12 pound fluorocarbon. Actually, a heavier rod. I like to use a seven foot medium heavy rod because the, the strikes on this are so violent and it tends to really target big fish. Uh, you need some beef to the rod that you use. I prefer a six three to one gear ratio reel. Uh, the fluorocarbon, like the new Lucky Craft fluorocarbon, works out great. It's highly invisible in the Great Lakes water that's so clear. It has a little bit less stretch, long rod, go to work, catch them, grip them and rip them.